Okay, I've already kind of gotten into this and started, but I figured I would uh, document at least a piece of this. What you're looking at here is a, uh, this was a two pack, I already have one removed, of the uh, 12 volt, 7 amp hour batteries that are used in most, um, oh, they could be alarm batteries, they could be uh, backups for whatever. In this case, it's for a, uh, a, a battery powered UPS uninterruptible power supply because sometimes the lights are off more than they're on and you need to keep your uh, your some things electrified uh, such as such as uh, electronics or uh, blowers I happen to have a uh, a pellet stove that I, I do like to keep on in case of a power interruption because the panels computerized and if it should go off then the stove won't recover it will not come back on but if it if it's a short power interruption you can at least keep the electronics alive to keep the stove running so if power is restored in a short period of time um, everything is everything will continue just fine so what I've gone ahead and done here in this particular uh, UPS that I'm working on most of these run on uh, similar batteries are either 12 volt 6 volt this happens to be an I said 12 volt 7 amp hour but lately they've upgraded these to 8 amp hour batteries uh, they so the 8 amp hour battery re replaces the 7 amp hour battery and the uh, thing you want to be aware of on the terminals is two types is T1 and T2 these are quarter inch they're a little wider I needed the wider ones most batteries come with the thinner terminals which are T1s, I'm not sure of the, I think they're 3 8 or I, I don't recall, but I know I need quarter inch, not 3 8 I think they're 1 8 or something. I need quarter inch terminals for my particular application. So here we are with the original battery pack. I just want to show you these happen to be double stacked on each other. And I've already gone ahead and installed, I just peel this off, there's your you can buy the whole pack put together but it can be more expensive so what we're going to do is I'll show you I've just gone ahead and I've already added my new battery and stuck the uh, stuck the uh, adhesive branding on here but uh, what I have to do I have to change this top factory one which is uh, on the date code on the bottom there it uh, is, let me get a light on it there, it's a 004, looks like 8 of 04, so these batteries are almost 10 years old. These new batteries do have a date code, I don't know how I would, I would, I would read that, it could be 61713, I don't know, but most batteries have a date code melted or embossed in them. Most have a date code embossed in them somewhere, where well, these do not. There must be the date code on the label. But usually, somewhere on most batteries, you'll find an impression of the date. In any event, I'm going to take this one off. And a lot of times, you can just rebuild the uh, battery pack that came with the unit. And they're either six volts and they can be in series parallel you just want to make sure you wire them in the same fashion that the originals were I'm gonna let the heat uh, get the heat here I'm just gonna peel this off just to make it look like it did I'll just put the new batteries in and make it look like a, a factory alarm pack here and get this one to behave here. And these are the most common batteries you'll you'll find in all types of things. Now, it's hard to do one-handed here, so what I want to do is pull the top one off. So these snap in. This one 
particular one snaps in. Let me put this down and take this off. There's two terminals right there. I'll lift this separator here, this mounting uh, bracket that holds the two coupled together. Okay, so it was quite easy. Like I say, the, uh, I've removed the terminals there. You can see, you keep your polarity correct there. As I've said, I have the same. We'll recycle those, and I have the replacement right here ready to go. So I'm going to attach the yellow, which is ground in this case, and the positive, just like so. I'll just take the positive and I'll just marry those two together. So there you have it. Again, I've married these two. I'd like to say without much difficulty. It wasn't too difficult, and I'll go ahead and either way, I don't recall. This is what kind of holds, holds the show together here. We'll just stick this back on. So, kind of hold the two together. Again, kind of hard to do one-handed here. Let's see if we can get this a little straighter. Kind of like so. Some heat, a little bit of heat to marry those back together. I'll lay it down. Same thing here. Take my, take my label and we'll, oh, it's so hot that it's already, it's already stuck. I'm just going to glue them back together. It's already, already sticking together. There's our pigtail. I've already tested these batteries. They're both well over 12 volts new. We can go over and we can, we can test and see what our, our pack reads. I believe that's uh, I can't really tell if that's a sensing wire or not why there's the three terminals but uh, go back and we'll, we'll check it out. I don't know I believe these would be in uh, series of parallel. I don't know yet. Let's let's do a voltage measurement. Okay because the positive of this one goes to the minus of that one over there I'm gonna say that these are like a flashlight battery. So these, this is a 24 volt battery pack. And again, I don't know why the three connectors, I could uh, divulge into that and tell you in a minute. But one, um, I don't know, let's, uh, let's take a look here. See, we'll, we'll take a look at what the pack is in a moment. We'll see what we got here. We'll take a look. We'll search this and see what it does, but let's, uh, again, we'll put it back together, take a voltage measurement, and we'll look up what this battery pack is. Again, okay, we'll recertify it here. And uh, let's take a voltage measurement and see what we get. It's uh, coming through at, uh, as I said, 25 volts. So these are in um, these are in series. This is a 25 volt battery pack. I don't know what the um, I don't know what the wire in the middle does. Again, I get nothing on either side. Well, I do get 25 in the middle also. I'm guessing that the other one may just be a, a monitor to tell you when it's time to change the battery. So there you have it. A quick UPS replacement. You just uh, so search out your originals and uh, find some replacements. This does not have a battery pack number on this, but uh, you can go by the model of the UPS and find how to 
rebuilt your own. That's a, uh, thanks again, and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so there we go. I have my battery pack installed. I'll go and reattach the uh, power connector here. And assuming your UPS is healthy and doesn't have any shorts, you should be okay because I've connected these before on a shorted UPS and boy does it go bang. <laughs> so it could scare the crap out of you. So there we go, we'll put our cover back on. That's back the way it was and hopefully we'll be good for another 9 or 11 years. Let's see if we turn on here. And there it goes. It's going through a self-test. As you can see, I don't have it plugged in, so... I could check the output of it. Fan is running. Switch to AC. Let's see what we get. See what we get for power here. Come on. I know you're on battery. Oh, I'm gonna have I don't think my probes are touching the the prongs here. Oh, surge only. So these are the battery backup. Here we go. Eighty-five volts. Hmm. I don't know why it says eighty-five because I believe if you read true RMS that will be enough to run most things, but it's putting out 85 volts. Let's go ahead and attach the power and see if the alarm goes out. Come over here, plug that in. Yes, I know we have a building wiring fault there. Open ground. Well, let's see what we get out of these with it back on AC. Back to 121. And the fan has stopped. And the alarm has not sounded. We'll uh, unplug it again here. The inverter starts, the fan starts. I'm not worried about it saying 85 volts because uh, it's a uh, it's a manufactured AC. And we're back. So I'll give this a clean bill of health. And uh, that's the end. And it looks like you can add an, uh, for more extended runtime you can add another battery pack here if you if you so choose. And that's how you uh, that's how you re re up your uh, UPS should the batteries uh, fail. Thanks for watching. I was just checking online, and there's our uh, UPS battery pack, and uh, we paid significantly less. We probably paid half price for that. If you don't mind assembling it yourself. This is too funny. If I, I try to look for the external battery pack for that, I click on it and it is the company and uh, we get system error. So that link is broken. And if I pick here, Sixty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Again, these guys here, they don't even tell you what batteries you're getting. Um, I don't know if they're going to be 7 or 8 amp hours. So, uh, for $69. And there's our, our batteries for $37.14. And that includes free shipping. So, a little, a little less, a little more than half price.
price. And here is our finished product on the UPS. The battery is right behind this cover. So when you're out at uh, ham swaps and radio fests and you see UPS's, well, they're usually selling them to you with dead batteries and uh, you're paying for their hazardous waste. So you simply get one that's uh, defective and you can easily just change the batteries out and uh, you should be okay provided the UPS is functioning properly and hasn't been abused.